Welcome back. All right, so quick news of the day video for all you fine people on the internet, plus some channel discussion here at the end as well. Uh, so Michael Landlauer, apparently it's official, according to Bruce Garriock. Uh, the new owner of the Ottawa Senators will be Michael Landlauer. An executive committee for the NHL has granted him uh, the allowance that he can buy the team. So that should be that once that sale has officially gone through, which was always basically earmarked to happen in September. So right around the right time. And so then we'll see what his plan is with the new building, what the plan is going to be with the team going forward. Uh, one rumor that's been out there the whole way through is that he's really keen on bringing Daniel Alfredson back into the fold with the team and, and to have some sort of a role with the squad. Uh, that's a good way to win some some good fan sentiment and, and win over the locals in Ottawa. Uh, Alfredson, a very popular player who's had a rocky relationship with the Senators organization in the past. So uh, now that the Melnick family era is done with Ottawa and it moves into Michael Landlauer's territory, uh, we'll see how things change and we'll see what kind of pressure there is in the organization to make the playoffs, uh, what his expectations are there and whether or not he brings other people that, that he's familiar with with him into the organization. This happens whenever you have a new owner. They'll bring guys they're comfortable with in, and uh, it can affect the job security of people who are there in Ottawa right now. So we'll see what ends up happening. But if you're a Sens fan, let me know. Are you excited about Alfredson playing a role with the team? Are you excited about new ownership? And where would you like to see the new building placed? Or would you like to see them stay where they are? So uh, a lot of questions will get answered likely over the next month when it comes to the Ottawa Senators. Uh, Jason Demers, who hasn't played in the NHL for a while, uh, is unlikely to resume his career. Uh, sounds like he is officially going to retire. Has not yet. The paperwork hasn't been filed. But he's looking to uh, take on a media role with the San Jose Sharks organization. Um, and it, it is usually a good transition from player to playing a role within the media. And so all the best to Jason Demers. Decent career. Uh, roughly, I think, 700 games in the NHL, somewhere in that range. And, yeah, a defensive defenseman. Had some good years. And we'll see how things go for him in the media. Now, Alex Galchenyuk, this happened a couple days ago, but there really hasn't been any other news going on around the National Hockey League, around hockey in general, to discuss this. So Galchenyuk made it official. We kind of knew this was probably coming. He has signed in the KHL with St. Petersburg for the next two seasons. So Galchenyuk, who's you know gone through quite the summer, um, he seems to have taken ownership for what happened and for his contract being nullified by the Arizona Coyotes. And so we'll see if he gets his game back with St. Petersburg in the KHL. Uh, I hope he does. Uh, you know, Galchenyuk at certain points during his career looked like a natural 30-goal scorer, solid player. It just didn't stay that way. So hopefully... Uh, we see Galchenyuk get his game back in the KHL, and uh, all the best to him there. So the previews that I've been running for a week now, uh, the last four previews go up tomorrow. Uh, they'll be in this order, so spoiler alert. Uh, Philly, Carolina, St. Louis, and Calgary. I saved Calgary for last because I felt like there was a chance that during these previews, uh, Calgary would make a move. There'd be a trade, there'd be something that would happen that would change the nature of the team going into the season. That hasn't happened. Uh, I do wonder about the stability of, of that roster going into the season and, and whether or not guys get moved. Maybe the team wanted to make moves and the offers are more along the lines of futures and draft picks. And, and Calgary wants to stay in the hunt. Calgary and Winnipeg are in the same spot there. They both want to stay in the hunt for the playoffs or get back into said playoffs. Uh, I don't think a rebuild is in the interests of either team right now. So, And I also think with Calgary, they're hoping that Conroy and Husk have taken over, that that'll win over some players to stick around. But that's not season preview stuff, so tune in for that video tomorrow and we'll discuss it. And yeah, that'll probably come up as well. So a bit of a spoiler there. Uh, and then after I'm done the season previews, I will get back into the jersey collection videos. So I'll round out the 12 NHL teams and then do a video after that with all the jerseys that weren't featured in the uh, 32 videos of the collection. Uh, just going through like European, some of the ones from other leagues uh, that aren't necessarily with a specific team, that kind of thing. So uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting those videos done as well. And then once that's finished, we're kind of into training camp. So uh, we did get through the summer. We've survived the summer mostly. Uh, pumpkin spice is starting to show up already. So that that tells you all you need to know. Uh, summer is almost done, even though here 
uh, between the the smoke in the air and the fact that it's it's ridiculously hot as well, at least by our standards, uh, it's it, it definitely feels like summer still got a grip, but the the weather's supposed to change in the coming weeks, so we'll see. Uh, but there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.